The stories that surround the two sacred headbands are as many as the men who have died in their pursuit. Some say they bestow supernatural powers upon whoever possesses them. Others believe that they were created by the gods and that mankind dances at their end like a fish snagged on a line. <laughs> I can't vouch for any of that bullshit. All I can tell you is what I witnessed with my own two eyes, which is it. Since his life became all tangled up in those same two headbands, Afro Samurai has known only suffering, unbearable loss, and pain. Sorely disappointed. Only action he's been getting is his ass kicked. You think I should be watching his back? Fuck you. I've been watching. I've seen everything. Afro! Did I wake you, motherfucker? To summarize, the guy you're looking for is over there at the bar, and you are about to get your ass kicked. Later! That's the number two. I want that headband! Oh! 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 
Motherfucker! Motherfucker! Come on, Afro, let's bounce! That's the number two. Uh, gentlemen, let my associate and I buy you a drink. Oh shit, it's the number two, get him! Look who's in town. Remember man, ho, aim, release. Look out! This way. Afro! I don't know what terrible shit you did in some past life, but karma is all up in your guts like a motherfucker. You notice nobody ever fucks with me? That's cause I don't antagonize people. It's not your fault. That's something about your face makes people want to cut it off.
the fuck is that? He's so big. <laughs> Shit. You better pray he just kills you. I think he got something else in mind. Easy. You... Afro! Afro, what's... You're not really making a mess of that. Let me... I got it. So you're really leading us? Mm-hmm. Got a lead on the number two, huh? Maybe. <laughs> Look what we got here. Where is the number two? What? Kill him! Ow! Oh! Your story is over.
Your story is over. <laughs> there you are, Afro Samurai. Is that what they call you now? Accurate, at least, if uninspired. Smoke? What are you looking for, Afro Samurai? Did your sword master send you, little watchdog? No. Does he never mention me, his brother? I'm hurt. But you've seen my work. Sword master. I can still hear his voice in my head sometimes. His tired aphorisms disguising the true intent of his words. Be like the stone. Be like the rock. Be like the mountain. Be like me. Narrow-minded, unyielding, unemotional, dead.
What the? Oh no! for your secret history <laughs> let's see you were starving when we found you bloody face all streaked with tears and in your knapsack was your father's skull picked clean of the good meat by crows or rats or something oh there's a lot of your father in you. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> Tell me, what do you want? Are you planning to do me in like those men in the forest? Oh, is that what you want from me, Afro? Forgiveness, redemption, a, a clean slate. The more men you kill, the harder it is to sleep. And I am so very tired. There's only one way I can help you to sleep, boy. <laughs> for you. Number two headband. Oh, you're chasing a lie. There are no sacred headbands. There are no gods keeping us in check. There is only man. Single action with two results. It's all a matter of timing. Swordmaster could never understand such a concept. He can only block.
I'm gonna kill you! Oh, I hope so. That would be an elegant death. So give me posterity. I want you to take action. Become infamous. Become a stone killer! Give me the number two headband. <laughs> you didn't listen. Your swordmaster is the number two. Bears. Afro! Master, I must speak with you. Wait outside, Afro. Now. <laughs> you share your father's arrogance. And now I see you have his sword. It's unfortunate you are so like him. Tell me, are you the number two? <sighs> Gino! Gather the children. Meet us at the safe haven. Shall we? Bring me that headband! Afro, with me, or the number two headband will be lost to you forever. Thank you. 
Alarm bell! Take the path through the training grounds! Afro, I've got something for you!
Roll! Sound the alarm bell! Time to die. is breached! Secure the main gate! Look what we got here!
Drive them out! Children, remain calm. Three are unaccounted for. Where's Otsuru? She's not with you? Gino, Afro, search the school. Start at the dojo. Find Otsuru. Find the children! Hiding from me, are you? Start at the dojo. Find Otsuru. Find the children. Go ahead, Afro. I'll catch up with you. Take the cliff path. I'm going to cut through the main building. You brought them here, didn't you? Swordmaster can't be the number two. It's impossible. Those headbands represent everything he despises. Oh! 
Be scared. It's me, Gino. You hear that? I thought I heard something. Shh, listen. Over there. It's coming from the dormitory. Go on. Go. Go! to go?
This ain't worth dying for. I got kids. Today is a good day to die. Go on, Afro. Take him back to safe haven. Master? Afro, stay here with the children. No. I'll go.
Afro, I've got something for you. This is the world you have made. Is it everything you hoped it would be? Behold your creation. Truly, you are on the path to godhood. I buried it here at your father's grave. The only place you respect enough to leave undisturbed. You think you can just take it? The headband must be earned! <laughs> in here let it go afro what's done cannot be undone but even now still you have a choice is not what your father wanted. I took the headband to protect you, to put an end to this meaningless cycle of death and revenge.
Still trying to control you. He sacrificed himself to show you what it means to be truly alone. But you ain't alone. You got me now. Well, put it on, fool. Time to go. Any objections? And so it begins. My name is Okiku, and I am dead. We spent only seven days together, you and I. No matter, in dreams, seven days can be an eternity. No, he'll sleep through the night. I understand, as you wish. You were unconscious for three days. I kept you sedated as I sifted through your memories. Your injuries were severe. I didn't expect you to survive, but I had underestimated you. On the fourth night you awoke and followed me into the valley. Afro, get up! Lazy motherfucker, you done slept enough! All our lives we've been told the same stories, Afro Samurai, the demon that would kill us as we slept. These threats were disguised as children's tales, intended to dissuade thoughts of defiance, and made more potent by the fact that you were real. <laughs> and so I approached you with a mixture of curiosity and fear. But in your memories, I did not find what I had been led to expect. Your dreams were so sad. We were not so different, you and I. Beneath it all, I sent something else. Something malign. Afro, don't trust that bitch. She's poison. You might wonder now if anything I told you was true. I couldn't blame you for that. It's true that I recovered you unconscious from the waterfall. Your sword still held tightly in your arms. 
the way a sleeping child would cling to a toy bear. You hear that? My name is Takamori. And I am here to relieve you of that headband. End of the road, bitch. No! Your story is over. The role of nursemaid was one I embraced. 
happy for the rare chance to preserve life rather than take it. I enjoyed this fiction, keeping you content in this place I had built for you, from memories of other, better places. It's lemonade. Do you like it? I was a silk maker. That's what I told you at first. Lies mixed with truth are easier to spin and keep their shape. In time, you came to know my true nature. Okiku, the dream thief. Okiku, the assassin. This way. Come on, what's the hole up? Get your bony ass over here. Hey, check this out. Damn! <laughs> Ain't telling you shit! Can we go now? But not yet. For an assassin, anonymity is an asset. My mannerisms, tone of voice, appearance, all were designed to render me easily forgotten, invisible. There she goes. 
In my work, I was destined only to meet the condemned, the lost, and the damned. In their final moments, drifting through their memories like a ghost, bearing witness to their lives, I'd wonder who will bear witness to mine. I'm telling you, she's as dangerous as those curves of hers. Is something wrong, Disciple Okiku? There's a problem. This may take longer than anticipated. And that's all? Yes, Father. Return to your home. Once the memory download is complete, release his spirit. Crack open the shroud of clay. This bamboo grove shall be his final resting place. As you wish. Release his spirit. Their endless euphemisms for killing amused me. Perhaps for them the word was distasteful, and not the act. Follow her. Ensure she fulfills her obligations. There you go! Come back here, you pussy! Are you trying to let him get away? Over there! You better do something, bruh! This ain't right. I got the strangest feeling like this has all played out before. <laughs> Ooh, goddamn. Deja motherfucking voo. Hey, it's the Afro Fan Club. They call me Keske. You killed my son! That don't help none. He has killed a lot of motherfuckers. Can you be more specific? Hey, Afro, you want to play a game? It's called Ninja Ninja's Body Part Poker. Let me remind you of the rules. Ronin, Samurai, what have you, those are your suits, your hearts, your diamonds, your clubs, and your spades, etc. Heads, arms, legs, those are your kings, queens, and aces. You'll pick up the rest as we go. Body Pie Poker! Ah. <laughs> 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 Oh! Ah! 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 Ah!
We continued our game of deception and trust into the following day, you and I. The valley is remote and accessible only by river. Each week a boat comes, bringing supplies to the village. We are both of us prisoners. I am a ghost, dreaming of being a woman, dreaming of being in love. How sad the dreams of dreams can be. On the fifth night, you found me bathing at the waterfall. We continued our game of deception and trust into the following day, you and I. On the fifth night, you found me bathing at the waterfall. To the brothers, I was a commodity, nothing more. My skills were of value to them. And in return, they took care of me. And so I approached you with a mixture of curiosity and fear. But in your memories, I did not find what I had been led to expect. Your dreams were so sad. We were not so different, you and I. Feel your eyes burning into me. Something like hate. Something like desire. When you slept, I could be close to you. I knew you better from your dreams. What I miss? Afro! On the sixth night, I confess to you. I'm an assassin for the cult of the MT7. Of course, you already knew. You should have killed me then. How cruel you were to let the lie continue. A network of passageways span the region, used by agents of the MT7 to maintain order. Drone assassins. The people of the village called them demons. These burrows all led back to the hive concealed somewhere beneath this valley, a nest where the drones were built, or bred. Call it what you will. No, 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 I totally understand. Now, rather than lay low for two days in the company of an intelligent, beautiful woman, you're gonna go and stir up a shitstorm, poking a stick into a hornet's nest. Makes perfect sense. I'd do the same thing. Afro, the whale!
The tunnels also allowed vapors to escape, preventing the hive from being poisoned by its own emissions. Blocking the mouths of these tunnels would force the drones to open the hive and reveal their location, leaving them vulnerable for a while. So, basically, we got to jam up a few holes. Why didn't she just say so? I don't buy this. We got to somehow close these tunnels and we being presented with exploding robots? It's almost as if this has all been planned out from the start. Come on now. You gonna get us all killed. Think about me. Think about the booty. Afro! Jammed up that hole. What was it? Dress rehearsal for the night's mission. She is so dead. Hey, you see what I see?
I was just fucking with you. You perfect for each other. She's a killer, you a killer. Although, she's a professional. You're more of a, how would I put it? Enthusiastic amateur. Damn, she is fine. She got it all. Tits, ass, tits. I'm gonna enjoy watching you fuck this up. This way.
coming from the valley. You two are meant for each other. I can feel it. When it happens, it's a beautiful thing. Happened to me once, long time ago. The moment I saw her, I just knew I was going to bang that ass off that bitch. You're not actually going down there, right? Uh -huh. Of course you are. Summer evenings when I was a kid, we used to catch fireflies and toss them into a paper lantern. It was beautiful. As if we captured the sun and the stars. In the end, one bug would fly too close to the flame. That firefly would burn up and the candle get snuffed out. You see what I'm driving at? That must be the power source. Kind of reminds me of that ladder. Maybe I'm crazy, but don't they look just like bugs? You had done. As I heard their death cries echo through the valley, I felt some pity for these creatures. They were not entirely inhuman. For them, the stories of the demon samurai had become true. For us, it marked the beginning of the end. Tomorrow would be the final night. The night of my death. They're coming. Oh, don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. I always have. But you two lovebirds are gonna have to make a stand right here. Buy yourself some time till the boat comes. If you need me, I'll be right over here. How about a round 
round of body part poker. Mount that asshole! Uh, uh, that came out wrong. Mm.
Retrieve the data. As we approached the village, I began to feel hope. Or something like it. <gasps> we almost made it. You and I. Guess you ain't getting laid tonight. Anybody else but you, and she might have had a chance. But she did now. Problem solved. So pretty. This instant stretching out to an eternity. And then, there you were. I don't know why you came back to me. If I were still alive, I would pretend it was because you loved me. Got the big fairy. But I am Okiko. And I am dead. Wait here, son. It'll soon be over. Number one. There's been a long time coming. It ends here. It always does. Thinking about your pops, huh? Which part? The head of the body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, 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 relax. I'm just playing. What kind of man calls his son Afro Samurai anyway? Name like that, you know his life story is not going to be a happy one. She, I'm surprised you turned out as well adjusted as you did. <laughs> Afro! Okay, okay, fine. If you don't want to talk about it, I understand. You're hurting. I feel it too, man. I feel it too. I'm just saying, you know, if, if every woman I stuck my dick into died a few hours later, man, I, I put that shit on my resume. <laughs> then would that go under skills or, or, or other interests? <laughs> Tell me that wasn't my fault. Afro Samurai, you have something we need. This place had a story once. This used to be about something. That's our way out! But people get in the way. Things get in the way. Destroying what was there and leaving nothing in its place.
It's the number two! We are... The Yashura Brothers. Of the road, bitch. Your story is over. It's time to die. End of the road, bitch. Oh, You made them all dead. Let them topple. Let them fall. Stay balanced. the crane. I don't know. Hit it. Kick it. Something. Afro! Sniper! Take him out! <laughs> Line up the rest of the cranes! Oh. 
a momentary setback. There is no cause for alarm. This has all been accounted for in our plan. People worshipped them. People struggled to build them. Now people struggle to destroy them. People struggle. Destroyed in a moment. Lost forever. Ride that bitch!
Continue to fire! Contingencies are in place for just such an eventuality. It's all in the plan! You gonna stand around and mind your work?
Brethren, everything is proceeding according to plan. I'm an insect on the arm of a god, insignificant. Can he feel me? Does he know I'm here? Does he know I'm coming? The I don't stop. My aim is to move forward, always forward. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, Afro! Been a long time! Somebody been praying to the god of ass. And it looks like he answered. Your mistake was to let me live. Do I look familiar? My father! You killed him! Cut that fucker down! That's fucked up! Ow. Fuck me! Oh. Your story is yeah. over. Damn! 
That girl put both the asses in assassin. Stand your ground! This is all part of our plan! Come on! <laughs> to earn passage, you have to come through us. More talk. And there's a toad. Frightened men trying to convince themselves of their and convictions. Trying to convince themselves they're right. Fuck this! I'm sp You fucker!
shut them out. Shut them down. In the end, right belongs to whoever is left standing. If dying like a bitch was part of your plan, then mission accomplished. Right is mine. Hey. Hey! You talking to yourself again? Man, I worry about your sanity sometimes. You should be careful. The mind is a terrible thing to waste. Blind. Afro! Come on, number one. A secret hideout inside a volcano? The man's a walking cliche. This should have been the first place we looked. I ain't scared of heights. It's the ground that kills you. Check it out. He wears a number two headband. Masake, kill him. How about a round of body hard poker? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, sorry, friend, doesn't count. Suffering delusions to bring you. Hey yo! 
People waiting, there's people waiting to fuck us up. It's an unspoken no. rule. <laughs> what did it kill you to take the long way around? be some way to call it down. A button or a lever. What the hell is that? 
way. Hey, hey, is that supposed to be? <laughs> Your reputation precedes you. An ugly son of a bitch, ain't he? They got that right. I especially like how they captured the sadness in your eyes. Think. What would you do if you were an exact copy of yourself? Hmm? Hmm? Exactly. You see where I'm going with this? Whatever you think you're going to do, I don't know. Something he can't possibly know. Look. Oh, boom, to your boom. Advantage. That's the only way you're going to beat that motherfucker. Good night. Afro Samurai, the original and the best. Accept no substitute. <laughs> that your cell phone? I thought I switched mine off. No.
You haven't quite grasped the whole elevator concept. <laughs> Your story is over. We are the Wild Five. Cut him down. Ah! <laughs> 
That right? There's some fucked up shit right here. I'm gonna go get some coffee. Keep an eye on that bullshit for me, will you? Go! I think I'm gonna take the rest of the day off. Thank <laughs> you. 
can't believe that actually worked. Well, at least your fro came in useful for something. That shit's like a hairy crash helmet. Now, where the hell are we? Afro, up there. What is that? The Bear Man. Bear Man? There ain't no Bear Man. That's a folk tale, a metaphor for man's anxiety over his place in nature. <laughs> Who am I? That ain't no metaphor for shit. Can't wait to hear the explanation for this. A 300 pound bear man flies out of the sky at your head and it doesn't occur to you to get your ass out the way? You act like this kind of thing happens every day! Next time, you might want to try avoiding that shit.
Soon you're gonna go after him? You must love getting your ass kicked as much as I love to watch it. Looks like that's the only way ahead anyway.
he's gonna kill you unless you kill him first, right? Huh? So get up there and let's finish this! Together! Y you go first. <laughs> Crazy. At least not this time. Afro? I can tell what you're thinking. You think you know how this ends. You saw the TV show, right? Right? So that was a TV show. And TV shows demand a happy ending. You know this ain't the kind of story that has a happy ending. Maybe next time, Gravity, my friend. Maybe next time. We both died a long time ago. Afro. We're demons. Ghosts. No one will mourn for us. I have to kill you. Then maybe these tears will flow no more. In the name of those two headbands. But the innocents who suffer leave nothing behind. For Otsuru. Oh! 
Afro samurai moves on with sorrow in his heart. He shed a single tear for his childhood friend. Come on, squeeze out that tear. Just one for Gino. For me, please. <laughs> Probably come out a diamond or something. <laughs> <laughs> Afro! Form is emptiness, and the very emptiness is form. Emptiness does not differ from form. Form does not differ from emptiness. Whatever is emptiness, that is form. There is no decay, no death, no extinction of decay and death. There is no suffering, no beginning, no stopping, no path. Oh, I can read. It's called the education, bitch.
booby trap! comes only from suffering. We only wish to aggressively expedite that process. The empty seven. I noticed there's only six. Five of the ball jumps plus that one giant motherfucker. Tell you one thing, they ain't brothers. Let's the mom be fucking around. Sorry, friend, doesn't count. Ooh, you bust. 
Levers are made to be pulled, so pull it! And the new order! Ours will be purely an administrative role. The empty seven are merely midwives to this difficult world. We do not delight in these acts, but they are necessary.
Don't go in there, Afro. I got a really bad feeling about this place. Afro, please. I never asked you for anything before, Afro, but I'm asking now. Don't. No. Fucked up. There's no way in from the front. Take him like a man from behind.
Don't go in there, Afro. I got a really bad feeling about this place. Afro, please. I never asked you for anything before, Afro, but I'm asking now. <laughs> Don't go in there. For the glory! You must die! There'd be so much blood in such a small guy. But he's empty now, that's for sure.
spent our lives studying this place, translating, searching for meaning, for the secret to ascension. We adopted the roles this temple prescribed. The six, the six, represent the universe. The above, the below, and the four cardinal points, north, mm. south, east, west, at the center, stands the seven. God! Singular! Unique! Alone! But you are not alone. There is a split in you. A fracture. A schism. A sense to godhood requires the sacrifice of the six. That much was always apparent. My brothers just didn't want to see it. Five have already been sacrificed. Brothers one, three, Four, five, and six. One more is required. A two. And a two will suffice. You, the number two, shall take my place. And I shall at last ascend to the summit of Mount Stumi. To heaven. And challenge God himself. Let go, Afro Samurai. Discard that which binds you to this world. Become whole. Afro! Oh, Afro, you've done it now. Don't tell me you're surprised. Shit. Even they saw it coming. What? Did you think I was your friend? You ain't got none. They all dead thanks to you. So tell me, Afro. What are we gonna do about it?
But there's always a price to pay. Just like Jeno said, you thought you could cast away your emotions, become a demon of revenge. You try to suppress your emotions, and they just become something else. They become me. Now, you think just because I'm imaginary, I'm less of a man than you? When it comes down to it, we all of us imaginary, at least in the eyes of others. Geno imagined you were his brother. Okiko imagined you loved her. Swordmaster imagined you were a good man. So let's not start a debate who is or is not free. So if, if, if you still want to find justice, kill the number one, you're going to have to kill me too. I'm scared, Afro. You'll be scared too when I'm gone. But that's okay. Guilt, remorse, fear, joy, anger, love, all the things I cared for you will be yours again to bear. You ready to accept the burden? Cause this shit is heavy. It's been weighing me down for years. Take it. Take all of it. Embrace what you are. Just don't forget what you came here for. Ow! It was the bomb hanging out with you, Afro Samurai. You know where you are, don't you? Of course you do. All this time spent looking for me, you've been looking in the wrong direction. Looking out instead of in. <laughs> You want to cut me down? 
Yeah, I am. Come on. First strike's free. No. My desire was to become a god. In the pursuit of revenge, you made me yours. Searching for me. Obsessing over me. Killing for me. You really think you're the good guy? I killed but a single man in an honorable duel and for a noble purpose. Each life you took was a tribute to me. Your actions gave me substance. Let me live. You have been doing my good work. I made you what you are? Oh no, it was you. You chose this path. You chose to worship me. I just let the way. on your daddy's face always makes me smile. He tried to warn you. You saw what he said, his dry lips quivering in the dust. You just chose to ignore it. You listened to me instead. So don't pretend you're doing all this for your pops. You think if he hadn't died, you'd be any different? You'd still be what you are right now, a stone cold killer. You're just a killer with an excuse. You're the son of two fathers. Your blood father and me. Too bad you got your looks from him. He gave you life. I gave you direction. But this isn't about you. Come on. Your name may be on the box, but inside, you're a novelty. A whim. In ten years, in five, who will remember Afro Samurai? But your story, our story, that's a different matter. Vengeance is a story without end. The game's the thing, so let it begin all over again. Your daddy, your sword master. Both tried to hide the headbands, hoping humanity would forget, hoping for desire to wane. And what then for humanity? Without desire, humanity is left helpless, weak, waiting open mouth to be fed like baby birds. That's what we offer. Purpose, a reason to be, desire. Hehehehe. <laughs> 
Don't pretend you're doing all this for your pops. This is what you're really here for, isn't it? Take it. You've earned it. Take it. Take the headband. Become number one. Become God.
Jack and it's still when it's spoken and reopen the scab. And sad he doesn't care without spare on a life and shit. A million against him, a fair fight and tear right through the ambush. Which man would stand in hand when the knife then get stabbed and sliced like a sandwich? Want more a bandage? Wrap your Adam's apple. He took the sword of out and then I stab you with a handle. The blade in hand of ancient. He chopping him in half and tied his spine in a knot then dropping him back. Skid it cracking like these ribs pack bones when they break. When the pain is agonizing, so you make no mistake. He's a showgun, assassin, a cold blood killer that knows no love. Skid it's no one in a bit of pain of a broke man soaked into your thing like a schizo. I spit so sick that it rained like when the smoke clears, heavy, no more tears. When the smoke clears, heavy, no more tears. When the smoke clears, heavy, no more tears. I said this man don't cry since I'm seeing my eyes. When the smoke clears, heavy, no more tears. When the smoke clears, heavy, no more tears. When the smoke clears, heavy, no more tears. I said this man don't cry since I'm seeing my eyes. I'm seeing my eyes. No more tears. No more tears. No more tears. No more tears. When the smoke clears, there'll be no more tears, I said. No more tears, I said. Smoke clears, there'll be no more tears. No more tears, smoke clears. Yo, it's rock, it's so, it's hip hop and it's schizo. A six shooter gun sling a bus and at the disco it's a shot. A coke cock fully load a missile and it's whizzing through the distance from a double fisted pistol. But it stopped. The show gonna block it with a quick blow. Justice with a hand cannon standing with a pistol, but it's damaging a whistle. Blasting when it whistles. Jabbing through your abdomen and folding back the tissue in your mask. You both dry, but you can get it too. Tapho Samurai, so super sized crew. Yo, it's suicidal. And you and I know that you lose it. He's your newest idol. Who's big his rivals, number two, see there's no tears in his eye, he dried them years ago, near the time that his daddy died and he nearly broke, it's no fears, he won't cry, there's no tears, appeared soaked, so when the smoke clears, yeah, you'll hear his words, smoke like...
Yo. Didn't know what hit you, stick him with a ginsu, hit him up, giving him jujitsu. Pistol whipper with an issue, spit it from a tissue. Ninja homer like a missile. Uncle let a dojo kick it like a rockefeller. Propeller kick it, drop it up, a rated chain, acapella. Soccer fella, special like a watermelon, hold a hammer like. Dingy apple samurai. Is he down? Surrounded in a battle fight. Slash lacerating, ninja masquerading, catarized. Faster than the speed of light. I'll beat it with a blade, save him from the ligament and kick his leg. Break from all points, visible fist. fist. Shake the dandruff out, I'm killing this kid. Gilmatic, clinically damage his chin with a kick, technical Spin metal to twist When he's living and he's giving it all that he got Cause in a minute it could all be gone Get up, get out, get out of town Get down, get on When he's living and he's giving it all that he got Cause in a minute it could all be gone Get up, get out, get out of town Get down, get on Yo, when he's still in it a bit, it's still coming to score Fitting them all, digging a ditch, that he's sticking his sword Do you really wanna know he get a million more For the headband with a dead man, send it more And fell short for the minute, just figured it Diggers living for dinner, bidding it in an organ Sort of more for the skin Love, we love that, we rub that through Do it for the love, because the blood is beautiful Puma with the double fist, the trouble with the stool Shoulda, coulda, woulda done it, if it wasn't for the school Like jewels, strike down with fury, just hang up Right now, sound off, murder a stranger Working the shadows, it's out of battle, it's still a battle But kill about a bitter, till the clip is out of ammo Shell gun, you know what, he holds no tears Cheers. Do it for the love because the blood is on his spear line. Slipping and he's giving it all that he got. Cause in a minute it could all be gone. Get up, get out, get out of town, get down, get on. Slipping and he's giving it all that he got. Cause in a minute it could all be gone. Get up, get out, get out of town, get down, get on.